<laughs> I take no credit. I actually found it in the research documents that Zola left us. I don't expect him to be cured immediately, but I'm sure we can slow its progression. In fact, he's already doing so well, he insisted on coming to bid you goodbye. Hey, that's great news, Jules. Well, I'm not out of the woods yet. We still don't know if I can be cured completely. So, you two really are leaving. Yeah. I'm sad to say bye too, kiddo. Are you going to continue your adventures then, Adol? Hey, um, if I can walk again someday, do you think I could come to visit you? Yeah. Just wait. I'll catch up to you someday. Then you can tell me about all the new things you two have seen on your adventures. <laughs> you got it. We'll tell you so many stories, you'll be begging us to stop. In the meantime, make sure you record your own adventures in that notebook of yours. Then we can swap stories next time we meet. Right, Adel? <laughs> I wouldn't expect anything less from Adol the Red. Adol, Dogi, thank you for everything you've done for our family. Jules, Pamela, and I wish you the best on your journey. We appreciate that. You've done plenty for us, too. Thank you, both of you, and take care. Right back at you, Jules. All right, then. Time to go, Adel. You look who it is. Whew. Looks like we just made it. We've got ourselves an entourage. Did you all come to say goodbye? Yeah. Both of you have done so much for all of us. The least we could do was send you off in kind. My co-workers also send their regards. Oh, they covered for me at the Coliseum so I could come say goodbye. <laughs> Your boyfriend here is a keeper, Yufa. B -b -b boyfriend When are you two gonna make it official already? Go! Um, I'm sorry about that. El Ood! Cut it out! <laughs> <laughs> That's the Gamberg family for you. Felix has got his work cut out for him. Thank you for everything, Adol. And for all you've done for our sister, especially. Your sister's the one who's gotten us out of more scrapes than we can count. Yeah. The best? She's fun to tease, too. Look, you fuzz blushing. Uh, hey, you two. What did I just say? I haven't even said goodbye to Adol yet. Huh. Well, now it's too quiet. Hurry it up, woman. Adol's busy, you know. my mother and father did. And I'm glad I can continue living here with my siblings. So thank you for that. For giving us the push we needed. The wounds we've suffered may never heal completely. But I'll keep my head up and smash through every wall that holds me back. As long as we're all smiling, it'll give mom and dad a reason to smile down on us too. I'll follow your example, Adol and keep looking toward the future. <laughs> yeah, wait, B both of us? You kids take care too. 
Hey, don't give your sister too much trouble, you hear? <laughs> we'll do our best, Ogi. Bye-bye, oh. Otto. Don't be strangers, okay? Best of luck on your travels, both of you. We'll miss you, but don't look back, okay? We'll never forget you two. Neither will we. the warden. Yes, I mean, no. <clears throat> I owe you my thanks. So, I take it you're leaving? Yeah, that's the plan. Good. <clears throat> that might be for the best. What do you mean? After everything that's happened, the Imperial military's on their way from Rom. Relatively new Paranormal Investigation Division is also involved. Whew, they don't waste any time, do they? You know Ingrid, don't you? She's actually a highly ranked officer in the Imperial Army. She used her connections to request additional support from the Roman military. No idea how she managed to report on all those events while she was in hiding, though. I heard the two of you were the primary suspects in the investigation. Come on, can't we catch a break? <laughs> I am a Roman soldier, so if they require it, I will be obliged to aid them. Anyway, I thought I'd give you fair warning. Thank you. You don't need to thank me. A soldier always repays his debts. Stay sharp. Until we meet again, Adel Kristen. Looks like there's one more person waiting for you. Heading out, Adol? Now that the Grimwald Knox is gone, the people's fate rests in their own hands. There's a possibility of a far more disastrous war or calamity in the future. That being said, you all risked your lives to pave this new path for Balduk. Now it's our responsibility to ensure it leads to the future this city deserves. Yeah. I appreciate the sentiment. We can do no less as the people who live upon this land. You are kind, Adol Kristen. And you are also steadfast. Do you remember when I told you I wished the Monstrums didn't have to fight anymore? It was right before our final battle. Yeah. I was embarrassed to have you see me like that. I had a feeling, Adol, from the moment I met you in the prison, that you would be the one to spark the change that I could only dream of. But I always reserved my expectations. And yet, you exceeded them anyway. Thank you for freeing the Monstrums. This is the first moment in a very long time that I myself have felt free. Then... Or... Myself? I'm sure you've spent your life living for the sake of others. Though, I guess I'm not one to talk. But, hey... It might be good for you to take some time to yourself for a change. <laughs> Interesting. I can do that now, can't I? Yeah. Yes, you're right. Adol, thank you again. For everything. Though it pains me to see you go, 
I'm glad for you all the same. Goodbye, Adol. So, where to next, Adol? If you want to stay on the road, we can head towards Garmin. Or if you're pining for the sea breeze, we could take a trip overseas to Bretai. You really took that dandelion thing to heart, huh? By the way, I've been meaning to ask. You've been on the road for a while now. You ever think about settling down anywhere? fooled me. We made a lot of great memories here, with a lot of great people. Wherever the next destination may be, I hope we meet more folks like that again. Hey, Adam. Look, 